Good day, Stan here. I know you want to be a high achiever. So I've decided to talk about uh, rituals, morning rituals for high achievers. Um, because if you're going to be the best in sales or anything that you do, you have to have some rituals that you do every day in the morning. Most successful people or high achievers have rituals in the morning. Like I said, my ritual morning, my morning rituals are I wake up, I meditate, I take a walk, and then I read and I, I learn. So from about 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. to about 9.30, I'm a learning machine. And when I'm driving, I'm learning in my book. I hardly listen to radio or music. I listen to books. So my car is like a learning university on wheels. So I'm learning. So I go through about um, maybe 10 to 15 books a month because I spend almost eight hours in the car. And, and then I can go through a book a day because most books that you can listen to them for about eight hours. So now I want you to get started in a path where you're going to be motivated every day, where you are in charge. So the first thing in the morning, the first morning ritual for successful people comes from uh, as a form of meditation. Meditation involves sitting comfortably in, a, in complete silence for up to about 30 minutes. You can start with five minutes. And the idea of meditation is to, uh, while to just um, mind your to watch your thoughts and see what's going through your thoughts and to focus your energy onto one specific thing. Uh, this will allow you to be still and mindful of the moment, of the moment like as in now, as in the moment. You're mindful of the moment, you're mindful of what's happening to you and what's happening in your, you are aware, self-aware. This improves uh, self-concentration, improves concentration and focus throughout the day. If, because when you sit down and try to quieten your mind, it's going up and down. You bring it back to the present. And it goes again. It's okay for your mind to wonder about things, about the tasks for the day. But as long as you bring it again back to where you are, to the minute, to the mind. So meditation is very important. That's one thing that you need to learn. Just need to learn to sit quietly. And if you want to know about med meditation, Google and find how best you can do your meditation in the morning. And then um, to learning. Learning is very vital because uh, the ability to solve problems in your life comes from the information within you. So all the resources that you need should be within you. Imagine if you search on Google and it doesn't give you an answer for something that you're looking for. It's because no one has put that information on Google. So for you to be able to make better decisions in your life, you need to have information. And information comes through reading, listening to podcasts, listening to other people, and listening to books the way I do. So I listen every day. I make it. I don't know how I'll survive without internet because internet is my friend. And I get books that I put on a stick and then I listen to the books throughout when I'm traveling. I listen to music. So if you take 20 minutes a, book, a day to read a book, maybe that's three to four pages you probably read one book a month or which is not bad at all because most people don't even read like one book a month so there's 12 books in a year and an average people doesn't even read a book a year like i go through over almost 60 to 100 books a year but i'm not saying be as i am because i've so much time i've i've created a, a routine for myself and that works for me i don't sit in an office for long i drive around from site to suppliers and to meetings. So learning is number two. And then number three, le uh, exercise, like I do. I t take a walk for six kilometers almost every day. So I wake up and then I put my headphones on and then I'm listening to a book and it takes an hour. In that hour, I'll probably cover a book, a topic of some that I'm looking in that walking. I probably resolve some things for that day. The things that I want, I'm clear. I put so much clarity and then I come down and I sit. So even if you don't go to the gym, you, I don't, you might not have money for a gym. Just wake up and take a walk around the block, map up the, the, the road and walk. And then come back and go to work. Thereby you'll be ready for the day. Even if you're not working, wake up early 
and do the walking and then come and sit down and find some things that you can do at home if you are a PC or if you don't if you have a phone there's a lot of things that you can do that can help you to uh, move your life forward these phones are more complicated now you can go on Google you can learn instead of going and watching status people's whatsapp status on everything or on Instagram take your time and put it into there in journaling uh, you need to write down how you feel and where you're going in that day and it helps you it's a tool for, for capturing ideas and it helps you improve your career and relationships some people even like to use journaling for goal setting purposes for planning out their future given all this journaling will help you to reinforce what's most important in your life while keeping you focused on your highest priority activities throughout the day because you're writing down so when you go to bed you write down your goals in that journal and then when you wake up you do the same and then you write the progress and you have write how you feel if you feel discouraged and you write everything and if you feel pumped up you do the same so if you write your thoughts it's easier for me I try and come up with business ideas every day that can give me money even if it's 10 or two three or whatever number of ideas that I have and like I said if I come up with a very good idea out of that five or three ideas that I have I do a website for them so I've got over 20 websites that I do so I think my website's coming up to about maybe 30 40 because of these ideas so I just put the idea there and then I wait for the website to give me something so that's number four it's journaling and then five visualize and visualizing is trying to see the future to trying to see the future before it comes trying to visualize what your life could be if you do whatever you want to do if your goals are achieved what could your life be and how would you feel let's say your goal is to make 20 million like I always set goals like that in a year I try and visualize myself with that money and living in a different space and I also try and get the feeling how would that make me feel what would I become on that journey of achieving whatever I want to achieve in the visualization I see that so it's important to visualize where you're going to visualize your goals to visualize everything and then in the morning the sixth one is affirmations you need to be able to do affirmations to say like say I am I'm enough I've got nothing to hide I've got nothing to defend I've nothing to protect so uh, and uh, to say I'm abandoned I'm enough I'm everything that I need all that I need is within me so you set up some affirmations I'm gonna I'm going to put a few affirmations under this video even whether it's on YouTube or on Instagram I'll put some affirmations and all the points that I've talked about in this video so that you can grow so like we said the most important this video is about you setting some morning uh, rituals that will help you to go forward that will help you when you're feeling down because if you have a program like this it's a program that you do whether you like it or not and I remember last year I was walking even in the rain I would wake up and, and it's so nice when you wake up and you come and you walk when the time that I used to walk, walk go out was at about 4 30 and that time it was it's not as cold even in June but when I come back at about 6 then the weather starts to change but I, I like the idea when I come I take a shower and I sip my coffee and I'm ready I've conquered the morning at that time so do that with your life you have some morning goals that you do even if you're working wake up and do some rituals and probably do some press-ups in the house you don't have to go out I've got like a some ways that I lift um, dumbbell that I uh, the dumbbells that I, I lift so you can do the same um, do some exercises in the house you can do some press-ups you can do some uh, skipping in the house in the morning have your coffee take a bath and read and then prepare and go to work early so in the order for you to improve your life morning rituals so look down below you see what I've been talking about below and I'll even add some affirmations for you to start with thank you very much my name is Dan if you're YouTube please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if it's on Instagram please spread the news to your friends thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this thank you bye